Hey, hey, greetings food surfers. Welcome to the Mealtime Show. Today we're doing vending machines. Check it out, we've got this brand new machine here. It's a mostly pasta machine. So lots of different types of pastas. It's also got some curry, Indian curry, kima curry. And it looks like they're all single portion. They're 500 yen each, which is about $3. So pretty simple. Let's get one of each, shall we? Let's do this one first. It's got pork in it. What does it look like? Gorgeous. That is beautiful. Oh yeah. Like that. Next up, let's do the kima curry. It's got cheese and it's spicy. Let's look at it. Spicy cheese kima curry. Served with rice. Yeah. Next one, let's, let's try this one. It's shirasu white bait fish and pepperoncini. Pepperoncino. 500. They're all 500. Yeah, the whiteness, that's the shirasu white bait fish on top, the tiny little fish. The next one, this one is 600 yen. It's got a demigras sauce on it, 290 grams. That looks good. Even the this, this spaghetti looks good too. They're, they're kind of thin noodles. They almost look like soba noodles. I like that. This machine is gourmet. Come over here, let's get a shot of this side. I wish it sold steak, but it doesn't. That looks really good. I guess you gotta put your own steak on it. So they're advertising it as premium and handmade. So yeah, this is gourmet. They've got little flyers you can take here. Home buffet in the bowl, brand news. Going here for the seafood pasta next. Seafood, and you can see it's got like intricate handwritten instructions here or menu items about what's included. Okay, and there's the seafood. And down here, carbonara. Okay, carbonara is the most expensive. Got to shell out for all the cheese. My favorite, actually. Yeah. This is great. Oh my gosh, so many different kinds from one machine. That looks really good. This one's got a lot of weight. And the last one right down here, Sohotate scallops and lemon cream sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds really good for 500. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that, all this from one machine. It's nice to get so many different types from one machine. Typically, they're selling a lot of the same items, so repeat items in the same machine, but this one, every item in the machine is different. I really like that. It's groovy. Okay, you can catch the train right here to Kawasaki, and there's a new machine here that's selling this crab soup. I've never seen these before. Definitely got to get that. Crab soup, yo. Hot. Where is it? This one. I'm pushing the wrong button. Check, check, check it out. Crab soup in a can. Oh, that looks fabulous. Yes. Please stand behind the yellow line. Okay, just got off at Shute Station. But my editor told me this is not a very good station, so let's get back on the train. A few moments later. All right, we're gonna drink the soup while it's hot here. Yeah. Crab soup, everybody. Cheers, team, get some. 
Okay, the jury is back. There are no big pieces of crab meat in here. However, it does taste really, really like crab. It's a delicious soup stock, and it's also got some of the kani miso in it too, the, the crab brains, which, which gives it an extra like deep flavor that's really, really good. Buttery. That's a good product, and it's 150 yen, so $1, exactly $1. Tasty. As the weather cools down in Japan, this is nice. Mmm. Getting down to the bottom, are there any chunks at all of crab meat? Any at all? Zero. <laughs> Okay, so just to show you guys, these noodle stands are available. They're in all train stations, basically. And most of them do have vending machines. So you can just kind of choose your language, right? So go for English, soba, and there's no English available. I guess not. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, it's funny, it says, oh, I guess, well, it says order list. You get a little bit of English, so I like how much it costs. Okay, so it's partially bilingual. Yeah, it says print ticket. So you can order beer. It's pretty easy, because you just kind of look at the picture. Yeah. And I'm not gonna buy these things. Because this is a vending machine video. This, you get, you order from the vending machine, you take the ticket, then you go inside. So, it's worth doing. Well, maybe in a future video. All righty, off the train, and look at this. We got a vending machine's room here that sells, what does it sell? We got some rice dishes here. We've got some Anko sweet bean paste kind of cakes. And this machine, Toriyaki. Like, Pancake sweets, kind of. And they've got, oh, they got the daifugu. Those are really good. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Everything available? This one, everything. Okay, good. This one, you can see the stuff live, so. There's a look at the dodiyaki. This is the daifugu. It's nice. They have samples that you can check it out. And this is the other one. What is it this one? Which one is it? It's this one. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get some. Okay. Well, let's get started. I'm just gonna get one of these. Which one? Let's get the yellow ones. These look nicer. Top booty, 250 grams worth. Let's do number one. There it is. I love the packaging. It's pretty. Yeah, nice. Okay, and these are 950. Let's do number seven there. And this one, just plain packaging. All right, pretty good weight to it though. Check this machine out. It's got like chocolate chip cookie. What is this, it's sabude. Let's do the Japanese traditional ones. Those are the ones we want to see. Right? Everybody knows chocolate chip cookies. Uh, number five there. Oh, oh. Gotta get it dropping. Okay, looking good. The power just went out on this thing. Good thing I got my food. And the Daifuga. Let's do number, uh, let's get the two pack. Number 10. Looks good. Yeah, they are, and these are pretty heavy too. I like that. Hey, hey, check it out. Right over here, we got another machine that sells meat. Finally, the meat. Where's the beef? Right here. Got some different types. And they got a soup up here too. It's like a Korean style spicy soup, 400 grams. It's got meat in it. Okay, for 1,000 yen. Let's do that. Is it available? Yes. That's good. Ooh, that's exciting. Number one. Bye. Come down. Oh yeah, look at that color. Oh, that's the Korean spice there. Oh yeah. I guess that's, that's what it looks like. So this machine is run by a restaurant right here. 
And this is their flyer, it looks like a pamphlet. Yeah, it's a Korean barbecue style restaurant. Should maybe do a meal time here at this place. This looks nice. Got a big party room. Yeah. So, it's probably pretty top notch quality meat, I would think. It's great, they got a vending machine. Okay. Next, we'll do the bulgogi. This looks pretty good. That's I love just the seasoning of bulgogi beef. Let's see, number five. Put the money in first. It's gonna work its processing, there it goes. Interesting. Okay, so this is, I guess it's a kind of a, well, not soup, but it's whatever, it's marinated. Oh, and it comes with the sauce here, too. It's a good looking meat. Yeah, okay. And one more. Let's do this one. Let's do the burger. Unique beef burger. Is it available? Yeah, number nine. Okay. For 500 yen. 500 yen, one coin. There it is. That's about $3.50. It is all oh, that cute. It's a hamburger inside there. Just the patty. That's how they're done in Japan. Unless you go to a hamburger restaurant. But both ways. I'd say they're equally popular. That's just the hamburger patty versus a hamburger with a bun on it. So good weight. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here and go eat. I'm starving. You guys hungry? You ready to do this? I'm Mega Brain 6200, and I'm being joined by. Ta-da! All right, I am back. This was a lot of work, Mega, getting all this stuff from vending machines today, but I think it's a jackpot. I mean, the display is amazing, right? Like all these pasta dishes. Oh my gosh. Right, this is bomb. Got some Korean soup. Chef salad, desserts. Oh my gosh. Shall we start out with a kum pie? Yes, we shall. What are you drinking? I'm drinking milk. Milk, the standard, as always. Okay, good for you. And I'm having a Sapporo Black, they call it, right? Yeah. A dark beer. There's the beer, Sapporo. It's actually Haposhu. Here's the milk. Haposhu is, it's got a different amount of hops in it, so it sells for cheaper than beer. Yeah, that's the secret. Okay, let's do the pour. You've already poured yours, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's black. And it's, look at that, it's even in a Sapporo. We are organized tonight, aren't we? Look at that, it's in a Sapporo mug. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I'm drinking lots of head foam. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Now try a sip. Just try a sip. Okay. This is just a sip. Mega's not a beer drinker. He's of age, but I don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> it's kind of like maple syrup, isn't it? No. It's like maple oh, syrup it. without the sweetness. I think. Anyway, it's a nice change from what we normally have. So where are we gonna start tonight, Mega? It's your choice. Or wait, it's my choice. I'm the guest. You introduced me. It's your choice. It's my choice. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I want to start out with the bulgogi. This is Wagyu bulgogi beef. Yeah. And bulgogi is Korean style beef. Did we put the sauce on it? Is that the sauce that came with it or does that go with something else? Do you know? Yeah, this is the sauce. It is, okay. So, hit it. Love me some bulgogi Korean beef. It's just so flavorful. And then if it's Wagyu meat, right? I mean, it should be pretty nice. Yeah. But it came out of a vending machine, so who knows, right? Okay, so just the meat, no rice with this dish. We have rice for some other dishes. Actually, let's combine the rice with it. That makes sense, right? Yeah. And this is a, like a chestnut rice. So chestnuts and then some, looks like some sweet azuki beans in here as well too. Definitely, you gotta have your meat. 
With some rice. That's pretty typical in Japan, it's isn't it? Gooey rice. It is, it's gooey, yeah. Not sticky, gooey. Bulgogi, baby. And what's in the bulgogi? I, I see some green peppers, some onions, some carrots. All right, and of course that sauce that went on top. Here's the sauce boss. We'll let you know. Thinly sliced bulgogi beef. So much flavor, right? Yeah. I mean, I wonder if it's all just the sauce. No, I think it's it's marinated before. Probably didn't even need the sauce. Yeah. It's a tangy sauce, right? Tangy, thick, juicy. Crown yeah. style sauce. Yeah. And it's not too spicy. Sometimes it can be spicy. We scarfed that down, didn't we? <laughs> Mega, you're up. Let's do the salad. The salad, he's going for the chef salad. That's a first. The soft boiled egg is calling me. Or half boiled egg. What do you call it in Japanese? It's called hanjigu. Is that right? Hanjigu tamago. Hanjigu tamago. We got some dark, dark leafy greens. We got some expensive tomatoes. Tomatoes are so expensive in Japan right now. Yeah. That's why we can only afford these little tiny ones. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they have really went up in price. It's it's. It shouldn't be. I think it was because the summer was too hot in Japan. Is that, somebody said that, that they weren't able to get as much of a crop, I don't know. Who knows? And then we've got the chef's special dressing, secret sauce. Looks a little on the watery side today. It's different. It's different. She changes it up every time. We like that, don't we? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Chef salad. It's like a vinaigrette. Right? It's a light vinegar dressing, even though it's white. I like it. I like the ham. The ham? Yeah. I like the mushrooms. I'm not sure what kind of mushrooms these are, but they go perfect on a salad. Thanks. Meaty, earthy, as mushrooms should be. Okay, have we spent enough time on the salad yet? This is actually a first that Mega has chosen the salad right out of the gate, ladies and gentlemen. He has graduated to adult status. What's next? I give him the channel, but I'm still hungry. I think I'm gonna be eating food for a while. As long as you guys are still watching. And I really, really, we really, really appreciate you. Okay, so the main event of tonight is the different pastas. It's basically, it's 500 yen per pasta. A couple of them were a little bit more, but mainly they were 500 yen. And We've got four of them here. We bought six from the machine, but we thought, oh, there's no way we're gonna be able to eat all that. So we picked the best four out of six. Okay, so which one is calling me? This one, the caravanada is calling me. It's cheesy, cheesy yeah. goodness, right? I, looks that's weird. my favorite pasta. And I'm not a big pasta eater. For those of you who know on the channel, I don't do pasta very often. So this, this is probably the most, what? the most deluxe pasta video you're ever gonna get from me because <laughs> we got four different types. If I was really into pasta, I, we would have done all six types. Okay, so it is what it is. Oh, it's so cheesy, isn't it? it smells so cheesy. Right? Okay. <laughs> and basically this stuff, you just heat it up. That's all you gotta do. It's gourmet food that's ready to go. You just heat it up and boom, away you go. I see ham in here, ham chunks. All right, let's do it. Is it cheesy enough for you? It's so cheesy. And it's a couple different types of cheese. There's Parmesan on top, like sprinkled on it. And then there's a cheese, like a creamier cheese that it's in a creamy sauce. That is nice. Very nice. What do you say we do another? Let's do all the pastas so we can like compare them. What do you think? All right. Caught up on auto is going to be hard to beat though, isn't it? Yeah, that was so good. Right? Okay. I want to try the peperoncino. Peperoncino with shirasu. With shirasu. Are you guys familiar with shirasu? It's popular in our area. It's white bait fish on top of, yeah, basically tiny little fish. Sometimes it's raw, sometimes it's cooked. This is cooked at least, right? Yeah. It's got to be. And you don't get too much. Well, I got all of the top, I got all the toppings. <laughs> yeah, it's what it is, what it is. And this has also got the Parmesan cheese on top. Okay, I think I got enough. Okay. Just eat out of that. Yeah. 
But that's it's nice that these are designed to be eaten out of as single serving dishes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Shirasu white bait. What was the topping again? Pepperoncino? Is that what you said? It's pepperoncino. Pepperoncino, okay. This is good too. I mean, for me, anything but meat sauce. Meat sauce is what somehow disturbs me, and that's the most popular type of pasta, right? Just the typical meat sauce. I don't know why. That's the one we left in the, in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fishing. You're right, good point. It's not fishy. The sauce takes over the flavor of the fish, but you can see them. I mean, they're left on the plate. They're just so tiny. Pretty yeah. good. The sauce is overpowers the flavor of the fish. But, yeah, good. And then the noodles or the spaghetti is, is nice too. Right? Yeah. It's got a nice, it's, it's cooked just right, I think. It's not too hard, not too soft. Okay, let's do the pork next, shall we? Okay. This is, what, paprika and pork? Yeah. Let's accent this one with some hamburger. So this is a gorgeous looking hamburger. And in Japan, hamburger is typically eaten this way without a bun. It's very popular with the sauce on top. Okay, so combining these together, I'm gonna start with the burger. It's very soft, it's like meatloaf. It's soft. It's like meatloaf, but it's good, right? It's got a nice, what, pureness to it, and that, what, gravy, the sauce on top is nice. Good flavor, a little bit of a smokiness, maybe. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, and then the pasta. Make sure you get some of the pork chunks. Did you get some pork chunks? Okay. Oh, yeah. So the question is, what do you like better, the pork chunks or the hamburger, Mega? I absolutely like the pork chunks. You like the pork better. I must say I like the hamburger better, just because it's different. This one's simple, but it's good. I'm tasting a bit of tomato sauce on here. A little tomato. But overall, it's good. I mean, all of these are excellent. Right, they all have very dis yeah. different, distinct tastes. Yeah, I mean, this is gourmet spaghetti for $3 a box, basically. It's not bad, it's good value for sure. Let's do the last pasta before we move on to the other dish. And all the pastas are done, right? Yeah. Because we've got some other interesting dishes. We've got a curry dish, we've got a Korean soup, and we've got desserts. Japanese style desserts, right? Right. And we also have a cool stuff coming up. So let's do one more pasta and then we'll do the cool stuff segment. What are we doing for cool stuff tonight? We're doing a Q and A. A Q and A again. Okay, part two of the Q and A. Okay, gotcha. There were so many questions. We felt like we didn't get through enough of them on the last episode. What was this one? Do you remember? It's scallops with lemon cream. Scallops with lemon cream? <laughs> okay, I smell scallops. I was gonna say, it almost looks like the carbonara again. It does. Right? Yeah. Kind of, right? How do you get just a little bit? It's like all or nothing here. Okay, there we go. More is better. Okay. Going in. You ready? Oh, I'm tasting scallops. I mean, it's a scallop sauce. There's no scallops in here, but right? Yeah. The sauce has, what? It's, it's, a sauce. it's a cream of scallop sauce. And you don't like scallops, right? No. But what if it's just the sauce? It's not as bad as having to chew them individually, right? I mean, <laughs> that's, that's like yeah. nasty, right? The lemon flavor makes it better for me. Yeah. The, it's, the scallop flavor is not overpowering. Yeah, I agree. It's nice. Because I'm not a big fan of scallops either. I mean, I can eat them, but I don't really enjoy them. And, and it's, they're popular in Japan. Yeah. So a lot of times when you go to a restaurant or whatever, there'll, there'll be a scallop dish that's, that's on the menu. And you got to order it once in a while. You just do, because that's, it's, it's on the menu. It's recommended. That's right. Yeah, that's all. I've learned to enjoy scallops. Yeah. All right. So should we take a break now and do the cool stuff time? Okay. All right. Okay, so for cool stuff today, we're gonna do Q&A. Are there any questions? Yeah, they're right here. On the wheel. Oh, okay, we're doing the wheel again. All right, spin it. Oh, do you have any phobias? Phobias. Oh boy. 
So my phobia, the big one is recently it's elevators. Like something, something about elevators. I feel like claustrophobic in elevators. If it's just one or two people, it's okay. But if there's a lot of people and you know, the deal is that I'd rather take the stairs anyway. So, hey, that's what it is. But I've never really liked elevators unless you can like see outside like a glass elevator and it's going up. Those are cool. But a typical like office elevator, whatever it is, and departments, no thank you. And how about you, Mega? My phobia is too many people in the sauna. But that's also your hobby, right? Isn't that one of your like best hobbies is the sauna? Yeah, the sauna has to be quiet. Quiet, yeah. okay. So not, not a bunch of people like yakking and stuff. People yeah. do talk and like chat in saunas. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, so you're not worried about the ding dong thing, right? No. <laughs> Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, next question. It says, will you ever do the guy in a suit again? The guy in the suit, where I dress up in a business suit and do sporting activities. Yes, I'm gonna bring him back. I've told you that before, but I failed to bring him back yet. But yeah, I think in 2024, for sure, I'm gonna do it. Got to get the channel back up again. Got to try to get a viral video, something around. I think I'm going to do the guy in the suit eating something while doing a sport, something like that. Anyway, if you got any ideas for the guy in the suit, if you're familiar with that series, let me know. What would you like to see him do? You got a suit, don't you? Come to think of it, right? You still got your old school suit from high school? I do. Okay. Would you like to join the guy in the suit series? I'm going to try. You want to try? Yeah. Hey, I got a good idea. How about? How about the guy in the suit with him, and then and then we'll do like a dance series. I just learned the Running Man, so maybe, maybe we we'll gotta work on it. We're gonna our skills first. Give us six months. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Spin it. You spin it. That's our mascot. Spin it. All right, that was a weak spin from the meerkat. The meerkat wants to know. What's the best and worst tasting bug? Somebody did actually ask that question, right? Yeah. Um, because bugs vending machines are kind of a, I won't say a big deal, but they're around in Japan. And I've done them maybe three or four times total. So the best ones are the cricket cookies. So it's a little cookie like this and there's a cricket right on top of it. It looks grotesque, but it actually tastes pretty good. It gives the cookie a little bit of crunch and the, uh, the flavor of the bug's pretty tame. And then the worst one was probably the tarantula just cause it was like hairy. I put it in my mouth and it was just like dusty. It was weird. I, I felt like I was eating like a ball of dust. Yeah, the tarantula. And Mega, have you eaten bugs before? I did. And what do you think? Best and worst. The best one was the cricket cookie. Okay, you're going with yeah. me on that one. Okay, so we did that together. Yep. And the worst one, maybe the scorpion. Oh, the scorpion. Yeah, I remember that. You you, you said that it smells bad. Yeah, it smells bad. Smell bad. bad. Smell bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your spin. Na 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 na. Favorite place in Japan? Have we done this one before? No. Okay. So go ahead, take a crack at it. You go first. My favorite place in Japan is Okinawa. Okinawa, why would that be? Because it's nice there. It's similar to Hawaii. Ah, uh, okay, like the island atmosphere, the warmth, the sea. It's yeah. beautiful. Okay, maybe we should do an Eric meal time down in Okinawa because the uh, the food is different down there. Yeah. It's been ages since I've been there. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, I learned something on this Q&A. So whoever asked that question, thank you. And for me, my favorite place in Japan is, I'm gonna go with a new one, one that I, because I've answered this question in previous uh, videos before, but this time I'm gonna choose a different place and it's gonna be a Beppu Kyushu. It's a natural thermal hot spring location in Japan and they've got some just really gorgeous pools. You can take a mud bath down there and it's, and it's in its natural environment, which is, it's just, they're gorgeous. The water is just a really like aqua blue color and it's one of the top three hot spring resorts in Japan. So yeah, but it's far away, it's in Kyushu. So you gotta fly down there or take a train or something. 
but that's going to be a future video. Yeah, it's coming because Mega, he likes sauna and hot springs as well too. So yeah, maybe we're going to go on location for that. Last one. Do you see one more? Let me spin it this time. Favorite song. I will sing it for you. I'm a goofy goober, rock. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. We're all goofy goobers, rock. SpongeBob. Have you got a favorite song? My favorite song is Payphone. Payphone. That's by who is that by? Maroon Five. Maroon Five. Oh, okay, Payphone. Do Payphones even exist anymore? <laughs> I mean, we, when was the last time you saw a Payphone? <laughs> There's a few in Japan. There's a few, yeah, yeah like one or two. <laughs> Payphone. Okay, yeah. there you go. Payphone by Maroon 5. It's an all right song. And we are back. Let's do another Kung Pai, shall we? I'm having trouble getting through this black beer because it's so thick. Yeah, all right, cheers. cheers. Okay, what have we got left here, Magon? The Kima curry. Yeah. It's got a really strong smell. And Kima curry is basically, it's, it's like a ground beef Indian curry, right? Yeah. And it's, it, got, it has cheese too. Che okay, that's what it is. Yeah, the creaminess. All right. I'm up for some cheese. Kima curry. It's a favorite. There's something about the spice of Kima. This is yeah. the spiciest thing all evening so far, would you say? Yeah. But spicy in a good way, right? Oh, it's nice. And you know, even like the rice is even good, right? It holds up pretty well. Being that it came from a vending machine, you know what I mean? Yeah. It tastes like it just came out of a rice maker. Nice and sticky. Yeah. And the curry? On point, right? What do you think? Do you like Kima curry? I do. Because I mean, some people don't because of the spiciness or the smell. Yeah. It's good, right? It's good. All right. And I will take you to go eat Indian food. I know a few places. There's a lot of Indian curry places in Japan. They're amazing. And I think the reason why there's so many is because curry is a big deal in Japan. Like Japanese curry is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, so I like the Indian type because it's like it takes up the spice level. Yeah, it's just, it's just different. Japanese curry is kind of a standard. All right, let's get into a different country here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more India, no more Japan. We're going to Korea again. This right. is the Barajiru. Barajiru is what it's called, okay. We saved the spiciest for last, as it should be. Because if you eat the spiciest food first, you just kind of ruin your taste buds for everything else. We've learned that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's a bit of advice. <laughs> Save the spiciest part of your meal for the latter part. Look at that, there's, it's a, oh, you got two pieces of stew. You grab one, I grab one. Two huge chunks. I guess that's, that's where it's showing off to the camera. That's pretty respectable for a soup, isn't it? Yeah. I love the deep red color, like red and brown. So let's do the soup first. <laughs> oh my. That's. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty spicy. <laughs> oh, the meat. That's so tender. Wow. That's beef stew. Isn't that nice? It's so tangy. Wow. Yeah, soft. Cooked it for probably a couple days to get it that soft. Actually, after you eat the meat, the soup's not that hot anymore. For me. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Why is it that the first taste of soup is so hot? It's weird. It's a mystery. <laughs> the beef mellows it out? That's really good. Okay, so we're moving on to the dessert courses here. What do you want to start with? We've got three different desserts from the machines. Tatoraki. Toriyaki, good choice. Okay, so basically this is a pancake sandwich with Anko sweet bean paste inside. Oh yeah. Smells like 
peanuts. <laughs> Go figure. Beans? Is it just me? This. It smells like peanuts. All right. Go on in. Doesn't taste like peanuts. <laughs> I think there's a... What do you call it? There's a peanut sauce in it, maybe. Maybe. In the pancakes, it's very moist, the pancakes. The bean paste, soft, pretty standard. I like the softness and, and the moistness of the pancakes, right? They're moist, right? They're moist. Uh, typically, pancakes can be dry. Not typically, but often pancakes can be dry, right? Yeah. These are moist. And I mean, super fresh for vending machine food, right? Yeah. Mm. How do they do it? How, Japan? How do you do it? What's the secret? Because well, so I'm going to get my own vending machine <laughs> and be able to put good stuff in it. That's the problem. Like, I can't cook anything. I have to get a third party to do it. Maybe our chef. Yeah. Okay, next one. This is called Daifuku. Siomame Daifuku. Okay, so white bean. Daifuku, which is a, it's a pounded rice snack. Oh, these are gorgeous. Are we gonna share them? Let's do one each. Yeah. These look really good. Okay, so here's the close up of this. And there's the beans, you can see them sticking out there. Well, look at all the Anko in here. I mean, the first time I had Anko, I wasn't very impressed. What about you? The first time you had Anko, did you enjoy it? No. Nah. It takes a while to warm up to the the what? The color? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look appetizing. It's a dark brown. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's pretty good once you warm up to it. And it's sweet. It's a sweet, but it's it comes from a bean. Go figure. All right, let's do this. Why do they put so much of the bean paste inside? There's so much, right? <laughs> it's like eight parts bean paste, two parts pounded rice. Yeah. I think what I like best is the, there's powdered sugar on the outside. <laughs> I like that the best. Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah. We should have cut one in half. But Japanese people love these things. I mean, this is the premier suite of Japan, basically, right? It is. It really is. So, you got to enjoy it. And it is, it is enjoyable, but this is just, this is a super deluxe one. But what's nice is you got the bean paste inside. And then you've got soft beans on the outside, right? That are the full beans, right? That aren't mashed into the paste yet. Yeah. So that's like different textures. So, the sweetness is good, but I've had better daifuku before. The sweet ones that they have in Japan are made like the strawberry ones and the, yeah. it was like kiwi, mango, they mix it with fruit. It's like, those are the ones you want to get onto. But if you want to go traditional style, hey, this is it. He finished it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Powdery sugar all over the fingers. Okay. We have one more? Yes, we do. Actually, we have, there's five, of, six of these. We'll use this in the end for the rating. There's six of these. If it's a six, I don't know about that. So what are these, Mega? Can you explain to the audience? It's called Tapira Mochi. So it's basically a thin mochi. A thin mochi, so... And there's anko inside. Oh, okay, now I see. It's mochi. But it's, see, it's gummy. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's pounded rice with the anko inside. Interesting. It looks like a chocolate chip, soft chocolate chip cookie, doesn't it? <laughs> Which would you be happier to eat? A soft chocolate chip cookie or this? You won't know until you try it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. A soft pounded rice, sweet bean paste cookie. <laughs> Pancake. <laughs> what is it? It's a crepe. It's mochi. It's a crepe. It's mochi. You know, you don't play with it, Eric. Just eat it. It's a pizza without cheese. <laughs> oh, I like this. Well, hold on. This is different. This is next level. This tastes like honey. And this. Right, it's got, a, it's, got, it's got a sweetness. What was the other one? What did I say was in the other one? Peanuts? Peanuts. This one tastes like honey. I like this one 10 times better. Yeah, me too. I mean, 
If you had your eyes closed and you put this in your mouth, you didn't see the, the color of the bean paste, you wouldn't know it was bean paste, right? You'd think it was something else, Yeah. right? Let's close our eyes. Okay, it's bean paste, but <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like maple syrup or something, right? Or honey, I don't know. What do you think? It tastes different. And I like the texture, just the gumminess to it. It feels like a real sweet. So out of the three, I definitely like this one the best. I'm glad we got four or more to eat. I could just gobble these down there. I mean, hey, what was I saying in the beginning? Chocolate chip soft cookies. It's better. I would say it's better than a soft chocolate chip cookie. It's just, it's delicate. It's, it's gourmet. -y. What an amazing way to end the meal, huh? That might just sway our results in the ranking system. I don't know. When you get a really good dessert at the end, that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. I mean, the dessert bias, we're going to call it. When you get a really killer dessert for the last thing, it tends to, you know, maybe the ranking changes a little bit. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. So Mega Range 6100, what do you think of this meal? Mainly it was a spaghetti meal, but I mean, we had, it was a good variety of stuff actually this time. Yeah. And I've said this before, but always for the vending machines, when I go out and try to buy the stuff, I never really know like how rounded of a meal it's gonna be. Sometimes, I mean, it doesn't really work out that well. It's too snack heavy or it's too rice heavy or something, right? There's maybe, or it's all pizza, there's, right? Yeah. But this one, even though it was mostly spaghetti, we did have enough variety of stuff. And that, that's what really makes it, I think, is the variety of what, meat and pasta and carbs all kind of combined together and then good desserts. So I try, I really try. <laughs> so where are you gonna go, Meg? I'll shut up now. <laughs> I'm gonna go six. Six out of six, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? When I saw that there were six of these on the table, Somehow I just knew these were gonna be, it's lit, yo, nom, nom, nom. And the, and the meal was, overall, the meal was pretty amazing. I'm thinking Japan is really doing well with their vending machines food lately. I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to continue this series. There was a point where I was thinking I'd never be able to keep this vending machines series going because the food was getting repetitive, but that's not so. They're coming out with more and more stuff in, they're all over the place, these vending machines. So I'm gonna keep them going as long as you guys are into it. So maybe every so often, once a week, once every 10 days or so. The video uploads will stay the same twice a week, but yeah. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. What kind of content would you like to see here? What type of food would you like to see? Japanese food? Sushi? Convenience stores? stuff out in nature. What else is there? Fast food. Fast food. Excuse me. <coughs> Fast food. Okay, so did I rate the meal? I think I did. It's a six out of six. I feel the exact same way he does. This was good all the way around. So we're giving away three of our get some snack packs. If you're not familiar, there'll be a link on the screen or just down below in the video description. You can check out an unboxing video, somebody that has won one and showed it off. So what do they have to do? You have to comment below. Leave a comment down below. What kind of comment? Any comment. Any comment. You mean even like the haters? That's okay too? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> any comment. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're open to whatever. Okay, if you got any additional questions for future Q and A's, that would be good. We're always looking for extra questions and just guidance basically it's you guys that make this channel happen and it's the reason why we keep making these videos because you're here for us so good luck on the giveaway and we will look forward to reading your comments and anything else that's it that's it eric and mega out of here i didn't even finish my beer hang on this video's not over yet <laughs> can you help me <laughs> What is it about dark beer? It's embarrassing. I'm not a beer drinker as much as I thought anymore. What's what's up with that, Eric? I just wanted to do this. Yeah. For 
there's some left in there. <laughs> and we are out. <laughs> That's my hair regimen. You gotta put the black beer, the dark beer in your hair. And it, you get more volume that comes out when you wash it in the next, yeah, that's it's how it works. More, it comes out of your scalp after you wash it. Not.